All right, so I just finished a 20 minute recording and I realized I didn't have any of the audio on, so uh, let's start over. Anyways, uh, Marvel Snap, amazing game. It's a, it's a great card game, three lanes, 12 card decks, six rounds. It's incredibly fast, three minutes. It's so fun. I love the game. I play it nonstop. Um, it's a great game. They recently released um, a, a new patch, which has been the center of controversy right here. Like a lot of people are hating this patch because yes they've added a few other things they've added some new audio some new animations great awesome love it um so a lot of new variants love it but then they added in these nexus events which they were hyping up to be some sort of like awesome thing that everyone was going to love in reality everyone hates it because all it is is loot boxes they call it nexus event and all it is is a loot box why is that no one knows it, it makes no sense spoiler alert for what i'm about to say and i'm gonna say this over and over again revert this patch roll it back refund people that's the only way they can salvage themselves because if they come out and they say hey we're sorry we listened to your feedback we've adjusted the drop rates in these nexus events that's not going to do people are going to lose their shit and they're going to burn the company to the ground because right now a lot of people have already quit the game a lot of people have already uninstalled I played last night because I wanted to see how the new animations and stuff looked. I'm not touching Nexus events. I'm not going to spend money on them. Um, I'm saving my gold for when they fix Nexus events or fix some sort of thing. Because I thought if I saved up enough gold, I would then pay for a Nexus event. Which was like you pay for like let's say a... Um, I can't think of like an example. But like you would pay for like a thousand gold and then you would be in a event which is like you play out of 10 games and if you win all 10 games you then get x prizes kind of like a gauntlet in um 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 legends of runeterra legends of runeterra you spend a like a little event token or you spend x amount of dollars or whatever it is i, I haven't played legends of runeterra in forever but you basically get to get entered into a gauntlet and the gauntlet is you play i think 10 you have to play up to 10 rounds. And if you win all 10 rounds, you win, like, a big prize. Or I think recently they've made it so that way if you win, you get put into, like, a tournament or something. But anyways, I thought that was what a Nexus event was. Basically a gauntlet. And it's like, all right, so you have to get 50 cubes. And if you get 50 cubes, you get X prize. And it's like, oh, shit, like, yeah, that's something to cool to work for. Like, oh, man, we're going to have so much fun. Like, I'm going to be battling people. And now it's like this is like hardcore shit like none of this like backing out because like i i eh, i took a bad draw it's like okay so how can i actually turn this to my advantage should i snap now should i snap later because now it's like i want to win the big prize like i want to win it you know so um yeah i think that that's definitely a a problem there next events kind of shit the bucket and um, they should change the name immediately to uh like collector's ca caches which by the way with collection level which is right here it makes no sense they 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 um they change the collection level to add these boxes and now a lot of people have been saying in the discord and everything that they don't have um they haven't been able to get any cards like they used to be so before the, the the model was in like the very early stages of collection level you would upgrade a card and once you upgraded a card it would get to like 50 credits and then like some like boosters which still makes no sense i'll get to that in a second oh yeah let me put that down here so i can remember it boosters um they would do collection level um and then it would go boosters like 50 credits and then you would get a card and then that was it and you were like perfect so now i know where my next card's gonna be grind up get that card grind up get that card and it worked now that you've gotten rid of these automatic cards and you've added like caches it like people are really pissed because now it's on an rng basis where if i get up to this collection cache i might open it and instead of getting like a new card which i want or a variant which i want i'll get boosters no one wants boosters by the way okay and again i'm gonna get to that in a second but no one wants boosters it's been a huge thing and then yeah i so i'll i'll, I'll come back to it later because boosters is up there but no one wants that in a, a in a opening of like a loot box we want cards we want cards we want variants that's literally the only two things we want so collection level 
fix that because as of right now, you kind of fucked the collection level. Take it back, fix it, because no one wanted it to be changed in the way that you guys did it. Before, it was, hey, I know exactly when I'm going to get my next card, and now it's like, I don't, I never know when I'm going to get it. So, you need to fix that. Okay, maybe put, you can put, like, the, your collector boxes, you know, in there, but make sure that, like, every 10 spots or so, there's a definite guaranteed card, because that's what we want. It's a card game. We want more cards. Look at Magic the Gathering. What do people want? Cards. Look at Legends of Ruterra. What do they want? More cards. That's what we need. Okay. Anyways. So, um, that's collection level. I, 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 I could probably touch on more of it, but I can't think of anything right now. Um, Jeff right here said that if for these Nexus events, if you're going to be spending upwards of $600 a month to keep up with as priced, this makes no sense. If you, if you have a card game and you want people to be able to have a competitive deck right now, the collection level, that's another thing I was going to add. The collection level makes collecting cards bullshit because Let's say you have an idea for a deck. Okay, so I want a destroyer deck. I want destroyer. I want all the cards that when destroyed do X thing. I want this, this, and this. Okay, I know the 12 cards that I need. To, uh, I know the 12 cards I need. Okay, sign language for 12. I want these cards. How do I get said cards? Well, you're probably never going to get them with this collection level. They need to add in what they have in like Legends of Runeterra or in Hearthstone, which is dust or wild cards, okay? When you have a wild card, you can look through your list and go, ah, all right, I need Invisible Woman, you know? I'm never in my entire life going to get Invisible Woman. So what's the solution? Have her be able to be craftable. You click on her, it'll say, you need four wild cards. Okay, now I have a goal to work towards. All right, how do I get wild cards? Well, I could go ahead and keep opening up boxes, or I could spend money to go ahead and do that. Oh, fuck, I might want to do that. Ah, right, well, I'm at it. I mean, this this price for 25 wild cards is a lot better than just grinding, so I'll spend money to be able to get the cards that I want. Ta-da! Fixed it. Um, so... Yeah, it's like spending $600 for this pad, like, because what you're doing is you're making it so that way each pull is like X amount of dollars. And if you, if you pull, what is it, 100 times, then you're guaranteed both the cards that are in it. Like, don't hide the cards in these fucking pulls. Give the cards out is like a Nexus event. Hey, complete the event, get said card. That's what we wanted from a Nexus event. Oh, man, we can unlock Jane Foster. We can unlock Destroyer. We can unlock Valkyrie. What do I want to do? I want to play some kick-ass fucking event and then do it. Like, I thought a next event was going to be like a tournament. You know, like, if it's a tournament and then at the end of it you get the card, that'd be cool. Or, like, the top ten places get the card. Because then you're kind of going, God damn it, like, I could have won last time. Let's do it again. Anyways. um, So, yeah, again, roll back this pa patch, God damn it. Like, roll it back. And apologize to people and tell them that you're gonna you're gonna listen gold okay gold has been for the longest time a huge point to me that i think is just fucking weird like 300 gold for five dollars that makes no sense every other game in existence has some kind of dollar option for you know for gold make it 99 cents and you'll get 100 gold that's the baseline 99 cents 100 gold next up is 499 make it 500 gold 600 because then you want people to have the incentive that oh man if i spend $5, I'll get more gold than if I spent five $1, if that makes sense. You know, instead of doing this over and over five times, you get then five of them. I'll spend the $5 and get more gold because mathematically that is better than this. However, this is cheap enough for people to go, you know what? I kind of just want to top up my gold. I'm going to, I'm going to spend the extra dollar. Why not? Next step up would be obviously $10 and then 20, 50 and a hundred. Okay. Each one giving you progressively better odds so that way when people are saying ah oh, man i really want you know and again if i'm going by round rounded numbers so like a hundred one dollars a hundred gold and then ten dollars is a thousand gold then a hundred dollars should be ten thousand gold simple as that or again plus whatever level out your own numbers who cares you need to be able to look at them and go okay so mathematically a hundred if i spend a hundred dollars that's way better than if i do this because right now I look at all this, I don't I don't know what the justification is. I see 300 and I see 8,000 8, and I go, I can't tell if that's a good deal. 
make them rounded numbers and then it's easy like a variant costs right now 750 gold which makes no sense because you can't even buy a one variant like right here should be 750 that should be 750 if you're going to stay with this model of ten dollars for a variant make that 750 because right now you have to go okay 750 or i have to click this but then those two don't even fucking work out together because then two variants do not equal this that makes no sense so you can't even spend 20 dollars to get this and then get your two variants what system is that this should be an automatic if okay if i spend ten dollars this should be the exact amount to get a variant it's not so it makes no sense okay hear me out variants should be like three to five dollars okay because then you've got your three to five dollar area you're now at the price where let's say you spend 499 and you get uh let's say 550 let's say you get 550 gold a variant is let's say let's just say for simplistics we can adjust numbers later 500 gold for one variant okay five bucks you just bought five dollars so you're like all right i still have 50 gold left over so you still have 50 gold left over now it kind of makes you think like all right well maybe maybe i want to put like three or four more dollars into that to do that huh all right well maybe i don't know but right here if you don't even have enough gold to get one variant variants should be cheap enough to the point where you when you see a variant your first reaction i'm gonna cut away from this guy because he's he's scaring me when you see a variant you're gonna look at the variant and go oh man i really want that variant okay okay so if the variant is three dollars it's only three dollars yeah i'll buy that but there are six of them that i want okay that's that's eighteen dollars you know what i'm buying all the variants because right now I see all the variants that I might like and I go, I'm not going to buy any of them. You know, why should I? Because they're really expensive. But if you if you have a good price on gold to variant ratio, oh man, like, think about it. I would buy all six of them in a heartbeat if they were like 2 to $3 each. Okay, or more rare variants be a little bit more expensive. Make more common variants that no one really likes be cheaper. You know, like, it, it, like... For instance, you have this really cool collector variant, okay? I can't pull this over. Okay, here we go. Hold on. I need to... There we go. Hey, here we go. You have this really cool collector variant. It just came out. Okay? This is fucking sick, and people like it. You know, it's better than the regular collector. So, um, you know what they should do? They can make this one, like, $7, $5, because people are going to want it. You know? And it also looks like it's more rare than the other ones. You know, obviously, you need to also add in the pixel art. Where's pixel art in here? I mean, there's no real... Like, see, here's one. I wouldn't want that. It just kind of looks a little weird. That kind of looks a little weird. But, again, adjust prices. Have some sales on them. Here's the normal artwork. It's cool. Um, oh, yeah, and here's the new fucking, like... This looks so bad. Why would you do this? And then you have the ability to refill two missions. Like, what? That makes no sense. Again, we'll get to that in a second, but, like... It, it makes zero sense as to why. Hey, look, Nexus events suck. If I want something like this, oh shit, that's a sick Ultron. You know, make them ten dollars. You know, because then it's like I might want them, but like the other ones, it's kind of like eh. You know, again, this Kazar's whatever. This Korg, I I would never get. So make them cheaper. Make variants cheaper, and then if you have something like a pixel art make them a set price because people want to be able to collect all of the pixel artwork not have them randomly drop make it so that way we can go ahead and pick which ones we actually want to get you know that way we're not sitting there going like i guess i'm never going to get this because right now i have just through pure luck gotten i think four pixel arts i've gotten squirrel girl i'll never use jessica jones i'll never use um apocalypse you can use them in discard and i've gotten uh claw which again i'll probably never use so like there's all these like ones that i have now half of them i'm, I'm not going to use but i want all the pixel art and i'm willing to spend money on the pixel art as long as it's in the store which it's not like why isn't it why is it behind some weird like rng like oh you might get it you might not no idea anyways fix gold like make them rounded numbers so that way it actually makes sense uh drop the variant prices because again if i see a variant in the store i'm gonna be more likely to buy it if it's two or three dollars than if it's fucking like ten dollars like what it is now ten dollars is absolutely ridiculous because if i'm spending ten dollars i'm gonna do it on the event on the, the the um 
I spend dollars on the, the battle pass, and then that'll give me a guaranteed variant. It'll give you two, actually, I think. So that's already drastically better than just buying it from the store. Like, it makes no sense. So, um, anyways, next thing that we have, uh, roll back the patch. Um, why is there not a an option to go ahead and have uh, gold buy a patch, a uh, gold buy a battle pass? When I first started playing EVE online, there was this thing called Plex, which there still is. There's still Plex, um, but I don't know how it's changed recently. So when I started playing EVE online, you got a... Um, you got a like 30 day uh, uh, trial that you get to do. And in that 30 day trial, you had the option to make a bunch of ISK. If you made like, I think it was like a million ISK or like 10 million or something, you could then convert your ISK to Plex. Plex is their in-game currency, like gold. So let's just say that I'm playing uh, uh, EVE Online. I make my million ISK. I can then convert it to Plex, which can, then can be converted to Omega. So you go ahead and convert it to Omega, and then that gives you one more month subscription to EVE. It's a genius system. You know why? Because now you're spending hours upon hours upon hours in this game grinding to be able to make that much ISK, to be able to buy Plex, to be able to fund the game. So you don't have to spend any money in game, but people are still going to do it because they want the cool ships. They want the cool, I don't fucking know, whatever, character customization, ships, whatever the case may be. You can easily do that with Marvel Snap. Hear me out. Make it so that way you can still buy um, Battle Pass with gold. Originally, you were able to. It was like, what? It was like, um, I think it was like uh, 700 gold, which is like $10 for a Battle Pass, but you weren't buying real money or using gold. So I got one immediately. Got a bunch of gold, got a bunch of other stuff, and I was excited for the next uh, season because then I'd be able to go ahead and put my gold towards a new battle pass because I had made enough. Turns out you can't do that anymore. You have to spend real money in order to do it, which sucks. What you should do, okay, listen here, second dinner in Ben Brode. You're able to go in completely free to play, completely free to play. Once you get enough gold, let's say you have to get... 2,000 gold, which by my logic should be $20. 2,000 gold, and then at the end of the season, you can go ahead and convert that 2,000 gold. If you haven't been buying variants, again, think about it. You could then get another battle pass. So, you're now starting to think, are you hearing this? Are you hearing this? So now you're like, do I, do I save up 2,000 gold, or do I buy variants? And it's still only, it's, I don't know, maybe. Here's the catch. You can go ahead and get um, a battle pass with money. You spend, let's say, again, here's here's my system that I feel works. 2,000 gold, which is going to be $20, or 10 IRL dollars. Know why? Because if you grind and grind and grind, you're going to get 2,000 gold, or 2,000 gold, which again, $20 worth. That's a lot to be able to grind. Let's say you only make 1,500 gold within that month and you're like, ah, shit, like, ugh, I could have done it. I could have made it because I know in the battle pass I can make that much back, but I wasn't able to because, you know, like, uh, I had a family dinner last weekend and then throughout the week I had schoolwork, so I wasn't able to do it. Fuck. All right, I'll spend the $10 and I'll try again next month to get my free battle pass. See what you just did there? You just made $10 from one guy because he wasn't able to make it through all the way. He's still going to go ahead and buy variants because they are now, again, 2 to $3. So that's 10 that's 15 that's like 20 bucks coming from just like three variants and a battle pass, you know? And, I, and you have to, again, multiply this by thousands of people. So you're making like $5,000 from, again, just one battle pass and a few variants. Now, multiply this by, like, the millions of people that you're expecting to go ahead and get, and you're making good money, okay? Now, um, you can easily do it, so that way, if you do the Battle Pass for $9.99, what it'll do is, it'll, or, or again, 15 bucks, who knows, whatever, make your price whatever. When you spend the real money, then it ups you by 10 levels. So you have that little bit of a push, and you're like, oh, man, like, I got it. Like, that's cool, now I can get, like extra avatars and variants and gold and credits and whatever you know no boosters no one wants boosters you can do that 
but it adds that little bit more. So you're again, you're sitting there going, do I want to grind for a month straight to get a free month or do I just spend the $10 and then I'm already 10 levels ahead and I've got this much more stuff like, and then you're starting to weigh them out, the pros and the cons, you know? Instead of just, do I spend $10 or do I spend $20? If I spend $10, I'll get the battle pass. If I spend $20, I get the battle pass plus 10 levels. Well, I can just get the battle pass and just grind really hard. No, make that lower option be gold. Boom, done and done. Anyways, I mentioned boosters before, and I'm going to go ahead and say it again. Not COVID-19 boosters. Boosters. Nobody wants boosters, okay? Because as of right now, the system that they have in place for boosters is that they are tied to one card, and it makes no sense whatsoever. You're playing. You play with a great deck that you made with whatever you're able to, because, again, collection level sucks, so they need to fix that. So with boosters, you're going to go ahead, and you're going to get your um, you're going to get your, uh, uh, your deck and then you play with them and then all of a sudden it, it gives you a it gives you boosters for I don't fucking know carnage and then you're like cool awesome I really want my carnage to be cool but then you also lock unlock a new variant and then you're like oh man now I kind of want to put those boosters towards this variant but you can't because now you have to upgrade that variant and it just it, it's really messy and it's it bogs you down and it makes no sense so what should be done boosters should be universal kind of like wild cards and kind of like fucking dust okay if you're gonna have anything like this where it upgrades a card make it universal okay five thousand boosters and you could then make whatever card you want that's six cost or whatever and if it's a one cost it's like a hundred boosters you know like something like that turn your boosters into a system where you can actually craft things because right now people see the the deck lists and they go oh man this this card would be really cool in it or they see it online they go to um marvel uh snap that io like they go to something like this and they see oh man adam warlock he'd be really great in my deck oh man i really want agatha harkness oh man i really want arnim zola you're probably never going to see zola i have a lot of these cards but i don't have arrow I don't have Agatha. I don't have uh, uh, Arnim Zola. I don't have Black Bolt. Black Bolt would be great for, you know, discarding your opponent's hand if you really want to make a deck like that. Beast would be really good to bring up cards that are, you know, one cost and they cost one less. Like, there's a lot of different uh, uh, things in this game, in this collection level, that make no sense. Like, let's just say, for instance, that you wanted to go ahead and have a destroy deck. So you want to go ahead and put Winter Soldier in there, but you're probably never going to get Bucky Barnes because that's just the way it is. You want to go ahead and add in um, like armor so you can't destroy th certain things with destroyer. You want to go ahead and add in blah, 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 blah. Again, you can't just make these decks because it makes no sense on how you collect these things. Let's say Bucky Barnes is the key part of your, your, your plan and you want to go ahead and get them. You, you never know when you're going to get them. Instead, you should be able to click on Bucky and it'll say... X amount of uh, uh, boosters needed to unlock this card. So you go, oh shit, all right, I'm going to go ahead and save up 500 boosters just so I can unlock Bucky Barnes. Or I save up a certain number of credits. Or fuck it, you can even put gold in there. If you want to unlock a certain card, make it be like 100 gold for a dollar just to unlock that card. So then at the end of it, if someone really wants to do it and they want the whole collection, it's $100. Boom, you've made $100 from someone and they've got all the cards, okay? So then when you come out with a new expansion, instead of the new expansion being one card like this Thor was, Thor in the Battle Pass, it's one card for a month. What? Dude, Thor Love and Thunder just came out. You should have Valkyrie. You should have Mighty Thor. You should have um, Odin's already in there. Um, you should have uh, Zeus. You should have Hercules. Or maybe Hercules should wait until they actually have the next movie out. Sorry, spoiler alert. Um, you should have Gore the God Butcher. Why is he not a card yet? You should have all these different cards because they represent what is it? You should put Meek in there too because Meek's pretty cool. Put all these different cards in there and then they should represent the expansion. And then when you buy this expansion, you get those cards because we all want them. Or as someone mentioned earlier, if you have like, if you went to see the, the movie, it should give you a code and you insert that code into Marvel Snap and suddenly you get like, the gore card or you get mighty jane foster or something so that way you're still spending money 
uh, obviously you're doing it on a movie ticket, but you get something out of it, you know? And it's like, then they kind of go in, go hand in hand. Now the people who play Marvel Snap but aren't necessarily fans of the, uh, the movies might want to go see those movies so then they can A, see what is, you know, doing in the card and then also get some sort of like, whatever. You know what I'm talking about. Um... So anyways, that's like collection level and stuff. I think that's what it was. Boosters, yeah, boosters suck. Make them universal. Make them 100% universal, okay? So that way, if I'm playing a deck that has these eight cards in it, they don't go to Angel. Because I don't want to upgrade Angel. He's only in the deck because it rounds it out. I don't want it to go to Angela because, like, whatever. I'd rather it go to, like, Agatha or to Adam Warlock because he's going to look fucking sick. Or America Chavez because she's going to look sick. You know, like... I want them to go to cards that I want them to go to. So whenever you finish a match and you get the six boosters, have them be general boosters. And then that way you have a a, a cache of boosters. So you have like, let's say a thousand boosters. Okay, now I want to put, uh, let's put 50 on Abomination. Let's put 10 on Adam Warlock. Let's put a uh, hundred on Arrow, whatever. Like you could put them wherever you want and then upgrade those cards. Oh man, I have a thousand boosters. I could finally upgrade Angela all the way up to infinity. Bingo, done it. Now I've got a thousand more boosters. Ah, who am I going to do? Ah, let's bring Apocalypse up to, you know, whatever. Let's bring Ant-Man up to here. They have this weird, like, collection level with boosters synergy going on because in their head, people love the idea that if you upgrade cards, it gives you more cards, which right now they fucked up and it doesn't. So either bring back the idea, again, roll back the patch, or... It, they they make it so that way like you have general boosters so that way you can go up in level because now I want to go ahead and upgrade my Star Lord to infinity then I want to split him and I want to upgrade him again like I don't want to have to rely on RNG to get my Star Lord up into infinity like that makes no sense especially since in the beginning it used to be that if you have an uncommon card the boosters would filter down to the uncommon card because it was the um the lowest cost card and it was you know, it would be easier for them to get, you know, it, it made it so that way, like, if it's uncommon, you get all the boosters, and then if it get to infinity, you get, like, one or two boosters, or whatever the fuck it was. You have a lower chance. Now they fixed it, they, like, hot-patched it, or hot-fixed it, to the point where it seems like it's very random. Because I have, like, a 12-card deck with eight cards in them that are at infinity right now, and they're sitting in there because the old method used to be, if I have a card that's at uncommon, it'll have a higher chance of getting boosters. Now that's not the case, because now my Electra, who is already at infinity, has, like, 50 boosters added to her every single match, because I'm like, what? what? No! Should I just take her out so she stops getting boosters? Like, what the fuck is the deal? So, it, it makes no sense. Boosters are, are shit. Um, I already talked about Plex. Roll back the patch. Too much money. Um, it, God, you... The only thing they can do is come out and say, I apologize. We fucked up. We're rolling back the patch. We're instating refunds because we really messed up. Um, and also, you don't need to fix your UI. Like, where, where's the UI again? Someone had a picture of it in the Discord, I think. The UI is like... Where did it go? Fuck did the UI go? Yeah, like all these avatars, I'm never going to use any of these. I would much rather have an avatar, but hear me out. I know I'm switching around. I'm jumping around a lot. None of these avatars I'm interested in. Not a single one of them. You know what I would rather be interested in? A card that I'm A, going to use, which is none of these. So if I don't see a single one, I'm going to use. Or an avatar that shows that I made it through the entirety of the collection track, which I know that they had said previously that they're going to do. Like if you complete the Thor Love and Thunder, you'll get the Thor, uh, uh, you'll get the Thor one. The thing is with that though, eventually you're going to be able to get that Thor one. And I know they said previously that they're gonna make them exclusive. They should do that right now. You know, the only reason I would want one of these avatars that's like cool and different is if it makes, um, if it's either for a character that I really like, which none of those are, for a variant that I like, like, that would be a sick avatar right there. Um, or it shows something specific, um, it shows something specific that you, uh, have accomplished. I want an avatar that shows that I made it to, um, uh, Infinity, or, uh, let's just say, uh, Vibranium in Season 2. It'll say Season 2 in, like, the red from Vibranium. And then season three, oh man, I only made it to platinum, so it'll be the level three in platinum. That would be a cool avatar. Or like a border that goes around your avatar, you know, something. That's what we want. You know, we want to be able to show cool things, not just like, 
oh man, here's the face of Iron Fist. Yeah, it's cool and all, but like, should that be in a Nexus event? No, like, you have these be random in addition to the other shit we're getting. I shouldn't spend whatever the price is, like, uh, uh, like five bucks or whatever the pull of each Nexus event is just to get this avatar. And I go, cool, I'm never going to use that. No, give us this as well as like 50 credits and 100 gold. Boom. Like, then I'm like, oh, sweet. Cool. I got an avatar, whatever. And I got some gold and some credits. That's cool. Up. Oh, and I got a card too. Sweet. Because again, right now people want cards. Like, this is absolutely ridiculous. Like, this person has 440. They're clearly a free to play player. And they have all these things. They might want this Ant Man. It's 750. They're not going to spend money to be able to get that Ant Man. No way. They're going to wait until they have the 750 and then per pro possibly buy them. But right now they're not going to spend that money. Like, it's, it's, it's shitty. Um, I'm trying to look for the, uh, I'm trying to look for the, uh, old UI. Like, oh, look at that. Black Bolt's fucking sweet there. That Invisible Woman's a sweet one. Like, uh, that's, yeah, I know. I've seen that sunspot. People like it. You know, that vision, cool. Ghost Rider, awesome. Like, they need either cooler variants in the shop or something like that. Like, I, again, now I'm just ranting over and over because I'm looking for the, um, the uh the the old ui which i'm not gonna find and i'm not gonna find the new ui but anyways roll back the patch refund people and you're, you're good all right 30 minute video i've ranted see you later